morning, everyone. Our opening hymn will be, Now We Remain. We hold the death of the Lord deep in our hearts. Living, now we remain with Jesus the Christ. Once we were people afraid, lost in the night. Then by your cross we were saved, dead became living, life from your giving. We hold the death of the Lord deep in our hearts. Living now we remain with Jesus the Christ. Something which we have known, something we've touched. What we have seen with our eyes, this we have heard, life-giving word. We hold the death of the Lord deep in our hearts. Living, now we remain with Jesus the Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, my brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. On this feast of St. Pio Petrocina, we ask his intercession as we pray in a special way for the repose of the soul of Giacomo Grassi and Manuel and Deolinda Borello. Gathering our prayers into one, let us recognize our sinfulness before our God and turn to him for mercy, for he is full of gentleness and compassion. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at God's right hand. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, who by a singular grace gave the priest, St. Pio, a share in the cross of your Son, and by means of his ministry, renewed the wonders of your mercy, grant that through his intercession we may be united constantly to the sufferings of Christ, and so brought happily to the glory of the resurrection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Proverbs. Every word of God proves true. He's a shield to those who take refuge in him. Do not add to his words or else he will rebuke you and you will be found a liar. Two things I ask of you. Do not deny them to me before I die. Remove far from me falsehood and lying. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with the food that I need, or I shall be full and deny you. And say, who is the Lord? Or shall I be poor and steal and profane the name of my God? The word of the Lord. Your word, O Lord, is a lamp for my feet. Your word, O Lord, is a lamp for my feet. Put false ways far from me and graciously teach me your law. The law of your mouth is better to me than thousands of gold and silver pieces. Your word, O Lord, is a lamp for my feet. The Lord exists forever. Your word is firmly fixed in heaven. I hold back my feet from every evil way in order to keep your word. Your word, O Lord, is a lamp for my feet. Through your precepts I get understanding, therefore I hate every false way. I hate and abhor falsehood, but I love your law. Your word, O Lord, is a lamp for my feet. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The kingdom of God is near. Repent and believe the good news. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. 
Jesus called the 12 together and gave them power and authority over all demons and to cure diseases. And he sent them out to proclaim the kingdom of God and to heal. He said to them, take nothing for your journey, no staff, nor bag, nor bread, nor money, not even an extra tunic. Whatever house you enter, stay there and leave from there. Wherever they do not welcome you as you are leaving that town, shake the dust off from your feet as a testimony against them. They departed and went through the villages, bringing the good news and curing diseases everywhere. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the Gospel wipe away our sin. Amen. Today's saint is one of the most powerful saints of our church in regards to focusing on the passion of Jesus and being an instrument of God's mercy. For us Italians, this is a big deal. Saint Padre Pio, who had the privilege of bringing our people from our parish to last year as we prayed at his graveside, we know that he was a powerful, powerful disciple of God's mercy sometimes spending most of the day in the confessional, hearing confession after confession from people, but not only hearing their confession, God gave him a special grace, which Padre Pio would listen and the penitent would say, bless me, Father, for I have sinned, it's been blah, blah, this is what I've done. And he said, is that everything? Well, what about that time when you were he peered into people's souls. Jesus gave him that ability, because not because he wanted to freak them out, not because he wanted them to be afraid, but because he wanted their souls to be pure. He wanted them to give a true confession. And so Padre Pio, who also had the wounds of Jesus, the stigmata on his feet and his side, he also was tormented by the devil because he was a very close friend of Jesus. There are many times where he would wake up after having fought with the devil all night long, bruises, weaknesses, black eyes, and his fellow brothers would always say, what happened to you, Pio? And he said, the devil came and beat me up last night. How many of us feel that the closer we get to Jesus, sometimes it appears that things happen to us more and more breaks my heart when I hear people say, well, I got close to Jesus, but then it seemed like, you know, Eva was attacking. I always say, welcome to the club. The closer we are to Jesus, the more the devil wants us to move far away. Those that are far from God, he already has their souls. So St. Pio of Petrocina is a beautiful example of us of two things. One, we need to be instruments of God's mercy, especially receiving the mercy in my own life. If you have not been to confession in a while, friends, it's time to come back. Jesus wishes to heal us as the divine physician. He gives instruction in the gospel today of his apostles. St. Pio, when people would visit, he would always say, when's the last time you went to confession? How about right now, he would say. And he'd hear their confession right on the spot. Why? Because it is so important if there is a priest in the church who is not a priest advocating for God's mercy, he's not a real priest. It's so important, friends, to make sure you're going to confession. Sin is a cancer. It's worse than cancer in our soul. Our soul is decaying. Who would want a loved one to be decaying? And this is what St. Pio proclaimed and preached so beautifully. I had the privilege of sitting in, in the confessional that he sat in, and I just sat there, I prayed, and I cried. And I cried and I said, and I asked the intercession of the humble saint that every parish I serve, that everyone will be a disciple of mercy and flock to the fount of mercy. And so I implore you, my brothers and sisters, it's time to receive God's grace. Do not be afraid of the devil. Do not be afraid of the priest. Do not be afraid of anything, but rather prepare to be embraced by Jesus in a way that sustains us more than any food can ever do for us. What a beautiful opportunity 
to be forgiven by God, to be transformed, to be loved. So as we continue to look at the crucifix, an image that St. Pio spent countless hours in front of, recognizing his own sinfulness and his desire to suffer the stigmata for Jesus. May we too be willing to suffer for the Lord, suffering that is redemptive for our souls and the souls of all people. And so we ask the humble disciple of mercy to intercede for us, to give us the courage and the strength. It's time to be forgiven. It's time to go to confession. Let us pray. Relying on the mercy of God and his word as the source for all that we need, we offer our prayers to him. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray that the word of God may be alive in his church and may raise up more missionaries and charity workers for the gospel, we pray. Let us pray that leaders of nations may be moved by the Holy Spirit to depend more on God than on worldly power, we pray. That those who are overwhelmed by difficulties may be blessed with the Lord's consolation, we pray. Let us pray that our faith community of St. Joseph may continue to grow in faith and love as we work to spread the good news of God's kingdom here on earth, we pray. Let us pray for an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and the diaconate, especially in our great diocese, we pray. Let us pray that those who have not been to confession in a long time will no longer run from the mercy of God, that their shackles of sin, the decay of evil in their souls may be healed by Jesus, who is the source of all life, we pray. Let us pray for those who are impacted by the coronavirus. We pray for researchers to find a vaccine, frontline workers to keep be kept safe, that all may be healed by Jesus, the divine physician, and for those who have died as a result of the virus and their families left behind, that God may be their comfort and peace, we pray. And let us pray for all who have died. We remember especially Giacomo, Manuel, and Deolinda, the holy souls in purgatory, and all who have died, that they may be given eternal refuge with Christ in his kingdom, we pray. And for all the intentions we hold within the silence of our hearts, Gracious God, our refuge and our shield, grant us what we need for the journey of faith. May we always continue to rely on your mercy that you grant us, though unworthy. We ask these in all things through Christ our Lord. Saint Padre Pio, pray for us. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mingling of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine which we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, of my iniquity. Cleanse me of my many sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings placed on your altar in commemoration of St. Padre Pio, so that as you brought him glory, you may, through these sacred mysteries, grant to us your pardon. 
through Christ our Lord. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you are praised in the company of your saints, and in crowning their merits you crown your own gifts. By their way of life you offer us an example. By communion with them you give us companionship. By their intercession, sure support, so that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as victors in the race before us and win with them the imperishable crown of glory through Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels and archangels and with the great multitude of the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. My Jesus' mercy. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Gerard, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember your servants, Giacomo, Manuel, and Deolinda, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who were united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her husband, with your blessed apostles, with St. Padre Pio, St. Catherine of Alexandria, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. 
My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be always with you. Turn and offer one another a sign of the Lord's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us your peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free us by this your most holy body and blood from all our sins and from all that is evil. Keep us faithful to your commandments and never let us be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. May the blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. For those receiving Jesus in a spiritual communion, I invite you to pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. May partaking at the heavenly table, almighty God, confirm and increase strength from on high and all who celebrate the feast day of St. Padre Pio, that we may preserve in integrity the gift of faith and walk in the path of salvation you trace for us through Christ our Lord. Let us turn to our blessed mother as we pray. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. Unto thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass has ended. Let us go forth in the peace and love of Jesus Christ. We hold the death of the Lord deep in our hearts. Living now we remain with Jesus the Christ. He chose to give of himself, became our bread. Broken that we might live, love beyond love, pain for our pain. We hold the death of the Lord deep in our hearts. Living now we remain with Jesus the Christ. We are the presence of God. This is our call. Now to become bread and wine, food for the hungry, life for the weary. For to live with the Lord, we must die with the Lord. We hold the death of the Lord deep in our hearts. Living now we remain with Jesus the Christ. God bless you.